Welcome everyone. It's our pleasure to uh, host the ribbon cutting ceremony for Gateways Counseling Services. I'm Scott Larson, Executive Director with the Marshall Leary Chamber of Commerce and Industry. I'll act as the master of ceremonies for our ribbon cutting ceremony this uh, noon now, now that we're afternoon. Uh, what a great opportunity here. Um, Marshall is a lot of times considered a, a rural location and it's great to see though that in a rural location Marshall has so many unique services available here in a community of our size and um, what a testament too to uh, to the uh, proprietor here uh, Michelle who's taken the initiative to start and, and offer these services um, for both uh, youth and adult care. Um, with that, uh, I also want to recognize, before we start with our speakers, um, Greg Wenernack with uh, Senator US, uh, U.S. Senator Tammy Baldwin's office is here joining us this morning or this afternoon. Thank you, Greg, for being here. Um, up first, representing the city of Marshfield is Mayor Bob McManus. Mayor? Uh, thank you very uh, much for, uh, for coming today. We're excited about the expansion of this business. We are so happy that you are here. Um, these types of counseling services are really needed and we're really glad that such a great staff is here in Marshfield. So I would just like to say that on behalf of the city, your common council and all the citizens of Marshfield, thank you for having your business here and thank you for calling Marshfield home. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. We appreciate your support of all the businesses here in the community as well. Uh, up next, representing the Chamber of Board of Directors is our current president, Matt Eckelberg. Matt? Thank you, everyone, for coming out today. We appreciate you sharing the bright sunshine on a wonderful day like today. Uh, it's wonderful to have these kind of events. Um, they fill up the calendar. I'm glad to have them. Welcome to uh, your new location. We wish you the best of luck in your future uh, here in Marshfield. If there's anything the Chamber or its uh, board, of ed, uh, board of Directors can do for you, please let us know. We greatly appreciate your investment in the, in the community, and we, we wish you the best. I also have, if you could come on up, I'd like to present to you your Chamber of Mackey uh, membership plaque. Thank you for joining as well. And Matt, that's a perfect lead-in to, um, to our next speaker, who is uh, Michelle Mezek, who is the uh, Administrative Director uh, for Gateways, Co Gateways Counseling Services. So I'll turn it over to her to tell us more about what goes on here. Thank you. So Gateways Counseling and Day Treatment Center, uh, we do behavioral health and substance abuse treatment. We take ages three up. We have a substance abuse program that takes intensive needs all the way to prevention treatment. Uh, we do assessment, diagnostic therapy. We have behavioral health providers here that can do something called dual diagnostic treatment. So individuals with mental health and AODA issues can both be treated here. The special thing about gateways is that we use something called a whole person model. Now this is based off someone that you guys might know a little bit about, possibly not, but Yuri Brothenbrenner was a really great researcher in psychology and he actually termed something called the environmental systems theory. And that's that every person out there actually belongs to an environment of one kind, whether it be that you're a father, a family, a workplace, a member of a community. And when there's a mental health condition or a substance use issue going on with you, the individuals in that environment are affected as well. So what we here at Gateways pride ourselves on is our theology of treatment is that without mending that environment as a whole, what we do with that individual, we're placing them back in an environment that has conditions that are not the best for them, is really not the best thing we can do. So we actually try and treat all members of the environment. It's best in the conditions in any way we can that we place someone back in. So when we're treating someone for a mental health condition or a substance abuse issue, we do incorporate the children, the parents, the spouses, any members of that person's environment that we can. Because the fact of the matter is that when you're suffering from a mental health condition or a substance abuse issue, everyone around you is affected as well. And that is something very unique to Gateways and it's something we really pride ourselves on here. Our day treatment program, we have brought in terrific individuals. 
Um, one thing that was touched on uh, by our first speaker is about Marshfield being a rural location. Oddly, I live here, but I hadn't figured that out when I decided to move to a bigger location. Um, I started Gateways in a small three suite um, area downtown. And when I decided to expand because I needed to meet a much larger need that existed here in the community, I thought my biggest hurdle was finding a big enough building. And I did that. And then I figured out that placing employment ads was not um, going to be as easy as it seemed. So I am actually the only employee of Gateways that lives here in Marshfield. My providers actually drive from as far as an hour and a half away every day to come work here at Gateways. So that's the commitment that my staff also make to helping our community and the community that myself and my children and family reside in. So um, that's a little bit about Gateways and we welcome anyone that wants to know more about Gateways, give us a call, stop by. Um, definitely interested in sharing what we've got with anyone. Michelle, thank you very much for that uh, very in-depth description of what you do here, and you do a lot here. That's very impressive. At this point, we're, it's time for the ribbon cutting, so I know your staff, you want to have your staff be part of that. Um, I think your daughter was going to be part of that as well. Have them come on up. And if you'd like, I'll, I'll trade with you. You take the that, and I'll take the plaque for you. Come on, all along the edge the here. All along the edge, and on the count of three, we'll we'll do a cut. Sure. One. Everybody grab the scissors. Come yep. on, get in here. <laughs> One, two, three. All right. No injuries or serious injuries, anyway. That's good. That's good. It's always a good thing. Well, Michelle, again. Very pleased that you're here. You're part of the Marshall community. We wish you all the best. We hope you continue to grow. I mean, since starting in 2017, you've already had to move to a much larger facility here. So that's that's good for, for your, your operations here. So we're great to see that and hope that you continue. As Matt had said, if there are any, any issues that come up that uh, we can help you with, by all means, please reach out to us and, and uh, let us know. We'll try and help you as best we can. Great. I'd say. You. So with that, that will conclude the ribbon cutting ceremony portion of Gateways Counseling Services. Um, but we do wanna encourage everybody to stick around, learn more about the services provided here, and there are refreshments available too. So um, with that, we'll conclude Gateways, uh, Gateways Counseling Services, ribbon cutting ceremony. Thank you all very much for attending.